Hello, I'm here with Graham Harper after this afternoon's 1 0 win at home to Leyston. Uh, Graham, there's been a lot said about game management over the previous previous weeks and months with Tommy, particularly. Uh, today, that game was well managed and, and the 1 0 win was ground out. Yeah, it was. I think uh, we've probably played better first half than we did second. Um, and second half probably soaked up a bit more pressure than what we had to in the first, but we've done it and we've done it correctly and good decision making all over the pitch. Um, looking at the starting formation, no uh, Kempton today, that changed the lineup a little bit? Yeah, it, it did. Um, Jake's got a, I think, a problem with his ankle. Um, Saps is uh, coming back from a groin strain, so um, we sort of played Pico high up and, and Peter Dean sort of in the half. And in the absence of uh, any other centre forwards, uh, how happy were you to see Page uh, score yeah, of all people, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the um, decisive goal? Getting our centre half to score a little bit more is, is been on the agenda, and uh, he's, 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 um, he's chipped in with a couple now. Things he could have had another one, but he put it over the bar. And, uh, really pleased with um, uh, everyone. Looking at uh, a few more individual players today, um, with no Sweeney, a lot of, a lot of uh, pressure maybe to carry on a few roles is down to Harold automatically now. And uh, he, I thought that was the best I've seen him play all season. Yeah, it was. H, H, um, he, he's, his game's about getting about the pitch, breaking down play, um, and keeping his game simple, not, not trying to overdo things. And I think he did that superbly today. Um, he broke up play. He, he, he was immense. And when he's on, when he's on his game like that, he's, he's hard to play against. Uh, quite a niggly game for various reasons. Yeah. How how happy were you to see uh, none of our players leave the pitch through either injury or through uh, disciplinary measures? Yeah, well, uh, that was a point we made at half time to sort of not try and get involved in maybe some of their players' uh, the way that they was going about their games, uh, just to keep our heads and stay focused on what we're doing rather than what, what they're doing. And I think we did that tremendously today. And stood up to them, they, you know, they were physical at times, but I think we stood up to it well and, and come through the game. Uh, the one time you can't stand up to it is uh, when, when a horrendous tackle like at, at the, uh, towards the end of the game from uh, the Leicester substitute there. What, what, what was the, obviously it was right in front of the bench, right in front of yeah. the ref, right in front of the linesman, but was your role as a peacemaker there? Yeah, the, the I, 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 I think sometimes when situations like that happen, everyone crowds around the ref, our players are trying to get their player sent off, so running over, and, it, and it's all a bit, yeah, it's all a bit over the top. And that, it, that's not just us, but that's that's any side will do that. Um, so yeah, just pulling a few people out of there because once it's done, there's not really a lot you can do about it. The lad, you know, he, he, I don't think he sort of intended to jump in and break anyone's leg. He just sort of left the ground and he sort of, he got what he deserved. But I'm sure I'm sure he didn't have no intent of uh, breaking anyone's leg. So sometimes them situations can overboil, but you know. It's, and bags at dawn in the end. Uh, one nil for obviously all of the second half. Um, how how much did you feel we were holding on, or how much did you feel like we, it was comfortable um, for the last twenty yeah, minutes? Yeah, I'm happy today. Um, it's a good one, solid one nil win. Um, I, d I don't think they really worked, Rob. There was time. You, you, at least in the, you know they're, they're, they've, they've been flying. They're not going to come down here and not have periods of um, of the play. And I think our back four was superb. Rob included, and you know the midfield in front of them helping out. So I thought, as, 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 a, as a unit, I thought it was really good today. Uh, at the start of the game, uh, Leiston were second in the league. Um, Kay's got the win today and have been unbeaten for as long as I can remember. It's a really tight league, but you must be feeling quite good about it. Now. Yeah, it is a tight league, and, and uh, that's the good thing about it. I don't think anyone sort of got, got the, the mega budgets that were flying about last season, so it's. You know, it's not a level playing field, but you know, it, I feel that if we can sort of carry this this run going and, and build build on confidence and, and get better, because you know there, there's loads of room for improvement. There always is. Um, you know, I don't see no reason why we can't be in the mix. But having said that, if we take our foot off the gas, if players don't turn up, then you'll slip down the league as, as quickly as you was up it. And, uh, and we've we've seen that with a couple of sides this season already. Well, onwards and upwards. Uh, next game at Leatherhead on Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, see you then. And, uh, good luck. Yeah, let's look forward to it. Cheers, Good guys. Night. Nice.